If the deepest hole we drilled in the Earth's surface is a bare pinprick in the crust and a tiny fraction of the Earth's diameter or radius, how do we know what the Earth is made of? In part, we know that due to rocks that have been churned in the convective processes of the Earth and ended up on the Earth's crust. But mostly we know through the application of the science of seismography. This is the use of the study of pressure waves to understand the interior structure of the Earth. Essentially, we send pressure waves through the Earth from a variety of location on the Earth's surface or on the sea floor and watch how the waves travel through the rock. Seismic waves are pressure waves and like any wave traveling through a substance, waves will change their speed or refract based on the density of the material they're traveling through. Thus, the refraction or bending of the seismic waves gives a measure of the density of the material and the timing that it takes waves to be received on other parts of the planets from their point of origin tells you about the density and the amount of material. By combining the study of seismic waves at measured from stations across the Earth's surface it's possible to deduce that the Earth is indeed denser in the center and must be composed of elements as heavy as iron or nickel. Thus we know the Earth has a metallic core that that metallic inner core is solid and the outer core is liquid. The mantle and the crust are composed of mostly lighter rocks.